last one we want to do is our giving a card. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. Because if we're going to give a card, we have to decide, should we be able to give a card we don't have or not? And is it the job of the hand to determine whether we have that card or not? And if we don't have the card, what are we going to do if we don't have it? So we could do any number of things. We could make this a Boolean uh, method that sends out true or false, like true if we are able to send the card, false if we're not. We could also throw an exception that basically basically is going to uh, indicate that there is no card. Or we can just assume that it's going to be dealt with, no pun intended, get it dealt with. OK, maybe pun a little bit intended. All right, sorry, it, it can be hard. Um, anyways, not throwing these puns out there. So we really have to decide how we're going to frame this. And there is no one right way to do it. So let me show you one way that I've done it. And we're going to make it, uh, we're going to make this method return a Boolean value. So if it's unsuccessful, we're going to return a false. If it's successful, we're going to return a true. So we're going to want to know if we're able to deal a card or not. We're going to call it give. So when we give a card, we need to identify what card are we trying to give and whose hand are we giving it to. So we're going to put a card here and then we're going to Oh, send it to a hand. And we'll call it the other hand. On the other hand, get it? Then. Okay, sorry. I, I did. Sorry. There's no excuse for that one. All right. So the first thing we want to do, we want to see if the card exists. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is contains returns a true or a false, if it has it or not. So we're, this not here is saying if it, we don't have the card, we're going to return a false. And there's nothing else we need to do. Now, it's up to you. Do you want to make it if it doesn't have the cards, return a false, or do we want to check to see if we do? Now, I've had people tell me in coding sometimes it's good to check for the false statement first. Um, but honestly, how you frame this is up to you. So if it doesn't contain the cards, we are going to return a false. Else, in other words, the else is going to be we actually do have the card. I don't know what happened to my else. Oh, there it went. OK. Else. Now, here comes the hard part. If we're going to give a card, uh, I want to remind you that in order to remove a card, we have to remove by index. So we have to get index position of card. So that's an int i equals cards dot index of card. Okay. So that I will represent the index of the card we're trying to give. Then we want to remove that card from our list of cards. And that's remove. Oh, but look, there is actually a remove by object. So we can clean this up. Let me, let me change that. I apologize. Let's just do it this way. We don't need to get the index position. We're just going to remove as an object. So we'll just go ahead and remove the card. And on the other hand, yeah, on the other, on the other, okay, sorry, fine. We're going to add our card. Oops, out here. There we go. There you go. So, and of course, we want to return true. In other words, we were successful. We were able to give the card. Okay. And that is how we're going to start with our hand. So let's just review the hand one more time. Uh, by the way, it just automatically added an import statement for my array list. I never actually typed that out. Uh, if yours did not do it, you better make sure you add that import statement or it won't work. 
We just declare our cards here. We make it private. And then our hand here, um, when we construct our hand, we create our list of cards. And clear, we just clear out all our cards. Add, we just need to know what card we're adding. And we add it. And then show hand, we're going to create a string that loops through each of our cards. Um, I should also put in a um, new line here. So at the end of each card that we add, we want to make sure we add a line return. And then we're going to return that string. And that's how we're going to show our hand. And then on here, to give a card, we have to determine, um, well, we have to send it the card we're trying to give and what hand we're handing it to. And then if it doesn't contain the card, we're just going to return a false. If it does, we remove the card, add it to the other hand, and then we return a true, which means we're successful. And so that is our hand. Now we have to test it out. So in order to test it out, we're going to have to go to our game, and I think we're going to have to clean it up. To test, we need to go to game.java, and guess what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to keep these cards that we created. We're going to need to flip the cards for sure because we're going to want to test it out. And then we're going to get rid of this. All of this stuff here, I want to get rid of. So I want to keep it pretty straightforward here. So we create a few cards. And then what we need to do is create some hand. We need to create a hand. We need to add it. So it's hand. H1 equals new hand. That creates our hand. I'll get rid of some of these blank lines to save some space. And uh, we'll put h1.add. So we have add, and we can put c1. h1.add, and we'll put c2. And then we're going to do h1.showhand, like so. And let's just see if that works. So notice how much easier it is once we've got our hand dealt with. I did it again. And we go to run it, and oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's because show hand is not technically showing the hand now, is it? And I'm not sure I oh, like that. Because remember, it returns a string. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, show hand is not actually displaying it. So it's returning a string. So I'm wondering if I want to rename it to print hand. Um, or we could even do a system dot out. I kind of like having it return a string though. I think that's the right way to go. It's just that could be counterintuitive that you actually have to print it out like so. But at least we've tested that that works. And so all we really need to do now is we can try adding another hand. And we can do this, a, um, h1 dot give, and we can do c1 to h2, our other hand.
Okay, let me just do something. There we go. So hand one is now jack of hearts. Hand two is now ace of hearts because we gave ace of hearts from hand one to hand two. Notice it also sends out a, um, a new line at the end. That's kind of annoying. Okay, well, at this point, we've pretty much, you know, demonstrated we can work a hand. We can create a new hand. We can add cards. I didn't remove any cards yet. Um, but we can clear out a hand if we want to as well. And we can test all that out. It's not a bad idea. Um, so we can try an h1.clear like so. We can run it again. And now h1 shouldn't show anything. Hand one is basically cleared. So we have add, give, clear. Uh, let's look at our hand. Um, show hand, we also use that. So basically, that's all of our methods that we have. And um, in the next video, I want to show you how to create a deck and start dealing with the deck of cards. Um, and that will take a little bit. That might even take two videos to do it.